What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, right here at my new venture, Marty Music. Thank you so much for the continued support, especially by subscribing right here to Marty Music. You can go to martymusic.com as well and check that out. I got a lot of surprises still in store for you and tons of brand new, hot off the presses, uh, video lessons, gear reviews, all coming your way. So thanks for that continued support. Uh, this song right now is Grateful Dead, Touch of Grey, and... Uh, I'm going quite gray myself, so I think it's fitting. And also, it was a heavily requested song. I'm, I'm reading all your requests, whether it's on my official Facebook page or right here. I'm taking all the requests. I'm getting a lot of day, so, uh, but I'm, I'm reading them all. And this was a uh, heavily requested tune. And I'm excited about all the Grateful Dead requests. Um, I don't know if John Mayer being with them lately helped kind of spark an interest, but I've never had more requests for them, so... I think it's cool because I love them. So anyway, we'll zoom in, break it down. There's some bar chords and all that. And a couple little licks, cool Jerry licks that I'm going to show you. And I think you'll you'll enjoy it. I know I enjoyed uh, breaking it down. So anyway, let's zoom in and uh, have a little fun. Here we go. All right, let's get to it. I'm just going to start from the very beginning. Uh, a to E. And, you you know, it's not a, this is not a beginner song. So... You're gonna have to be have a little bit of skill for the rhythm and the changes and the bar chords and stuff. So check it out. Here we go. A to E. So it's like the up strum of that. Ja, 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 ja. Up. A E E E. So it starts with A to E. Then a B bar chord. Second fret barred, ring finger. B to F sharp. Barred, second fret still, which, you know, it's basically the same thing up a whole step where your finger's like the capo. So you have. A, E, 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 A, E, 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 B, F sharp, B, F sharp. So that's the little intro there. Then here's the verse. Starts on B. So B, F sharp, B. Okay. So from the top. That so B from the from the singing B F sharp B E A A E E now F sharp to the B so it reverses that and does F sharp to B then an E chord it's all right so that's the verse here we go again B F sharp B Here's the chorus. F sharp B to E. F sharp B to the E. F sharp B. A E F sharp to the E. And it's the intro. Here we go again. F sharp. F sharp B to the E. F sharp B to the E. Du -du 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 -du. F sharp to the B. Now that little A E F 
sharp to the E, then it's the intro. Now there's two licks in that chorus. You can't really play them if you're strumming, but if you're in a, a band or you're doing two guitars, whatever, you can do F sharp, B to the E, and then you have this lick. goes into that. So it's five on the B, four, three, five, four, three, and then four on the G, then two, and that's the third of the F sharp. So and I like to hammer up from two to three, but you don't have to. So that's a really cool little Jerry style lick right there that you can do also. Doesn't quite sound great when you're playing it all, all alone, but if you have a friend, it sounds real good. So it goes like this. It's classic uh, kind of E country lick from Jerry. Um, <laughs> I couldn't make it out perfectly in the sound. You know, I learned this stuff by ear. And then I looked at live versions and it was like, forget it. He played something different every single time. So check this out. This is what I'm playing. Pinky on the fourth of the E. Then open A. So pinky on the four, open, one, two, back to the pinky. That's what I'm doing. So after you do that, you go, and that lick is three to four on the E string, then two on the A, then back to four on the E, so. Open E then that F sharp again, which is the F sharp of the chord, so. Now let's do the bridge of the song. It's a C sharp minor, so you're barring the third fret with the A minor shape. Then you make it C sharp major. So C sharp minor, C sharp major, F sharp major. Again. Now um, G sharp minor. So you're barring that fourth fret still, but now it's the E minor shape. Then D sharp seven. And what you can do is you can play it like a C seven chord. No high E in there. So it's, what is it? Uh, six. So six, five, six, four. You could call it E flat seven or D sharp seven. So here's the bridge again. C sharp minor, C sharp major to F sharp major. Same thing again. C sharp major. I'm sorry. C sharp minor, C sharp major, F sharp major. Now G sharp minor. To D sharp seven. Then C sharp major to F sharp major. Then B major to E major, 
then it holds on F sharp major. Now it does a solo over the, the form, the verse. And that's all the super tasty Jerry stuff. Um, my personal favorite, some of that stuff. So uh, here it is again. And something that Jerry did all the time was he did a little chromatic walk up and walk downs to the chords. So instead of like, you know, it's a, uh, you know, he's always walking up. minor, e, D sharp 7, C sharp major, 2 F sharp, B to E, now the solo is the verse. So let's see the chorus. And that will get you through the song. So uh, stay kind. And uh, that's it. Did you survive? Did you make it? <laughs> Hopefully you did and had a little fun. Uh, thanks again for subscribing right here to Marty Music. MartyMusic.com as well. And uh, you can check the links below for all my social media stuff. Really appreciate the continued support. I really, really do. Peace and love. Peace and love. <laughs> um, I say it with peace and love and can't wait to see you in another lesson real soon. So until then, take care and see ya.